Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This she is entitled Question of the Day. One who had married omitted Yalav Yavo, it was Rosh Chodesh, he forgot to say Yalav Yavo, finishes married, realizes a mistake, the halach is he does not go back and repeat Shvan And this person wants to repeat Shvan would he be allowed to say Shvan again? So we'll answer the question in a two part mini series on Filat Nedava. The halacha is that the Gemara says, even after Shachmin Hamar, a person can add in Filat as much as he wants. As long as he's Machadish Badavar, he adds in Bakashot, additional Bakashot to the middle Brachot, and it makes it clear that these uh, Tfilot are additional Tfilot. They are Nedava, free will offerings, similar like the Megdash. So it's fine according to the Gemara. But as time went on, the Shochan Aruch already passed, and we don't do Tefillah now the, the Dava anymore, because the Shochan Aruch has a play in the words, where he writes Halavai instead of Halavai that we should daven all day long again and again and again three Chovot and additional the Davot Halavai we should have Kavana for Shabbos Menchal Marv, and we shouldn't even think of adding on more Tefillah. We should perfect our obligatory Tefillah, and therefore the minute today is not to daven the Dava. Maybe exceptional people who have incredible kavana, focus on every single word from the beginning to the end. Maybe they could daven the dava, but the average person does not daven the dava. The Chai Adam is quoted by the Rehah Allah in the beginning of the Shema Kozayin as saying that if a person is in Suffolk, whether he davened or not, so the Shochanah passes, you daven again and you make it to not. If I'm Chai, then this is a regular tefillah, and if not, it's in the dava. So Chai Adam says, well, we don't do Nidav anymore, so you cannot use it even as part of the Tanai. The Bro Halacha rejects it, and so do the rest of the poskim. Because when do we not rely on Nidava? When my whole purpose is for the sake of Nidava. So then you cannot go ahead and have a Nidava. And that's the minute today, not to Dava Nidava, let's shame Nidava. But when I'm using Tfilah Nidava, not for the sake of Nidava. I'm using it to try to go ahead and take care of my suffolk and tefillah. I'm not sure whether I have to go back or not and daven. So then I use the dava as part of the tanai, not the shame the dava, but the shame uh, the suffolk of my tefillah. Then the post can say it's fine. Apparently, according to Chai Adam, the institution of the dava is something I just don't get involved in anymore. It doesn't matter why I am involved in this phenomena called the dava, whether I'm doing it shame the dava, or just I'm using it for something else. Chai Adam, according to him, you just don't rely on the phenomena of the institution called the dava. We paskin like the Be'ah that I do not dava today, not when I'm doing the sake of the Dava, but when I'm trying to be Yodse from Machlokas, when I'm not sure if I have to Dava or not, or I'm in Suffolk, or I'm in Halacha, so then we say, out of Suffolk, you should go back and Dava again and do the Tanai. That if I'm Chayiv, I'm Chayiv, it's a Tfilah, and if not, it's in the Dava. Where they might the Dava is a means to be able to let me the Dava so I can try to fulfill my Chayiv. Yet the will discuss the next year. What if I want to Dava? In the case of Mara, I dive in Mara properly, but I left the Yalav Yavos. I really was not proper. I'm just Yotze. Can I go ahead and choose the Dava in such a case? Shalom.